Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you what to do if your Windows File Explorer app crashes on right click. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart Windows Explorer. Now to do this right click the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options and the next move you have to do is right click on Windows Explorer as an app and select the restart option. You will see that your screen might just turn grey or white or your test bar might disappear but don't worry, this is just a matter of time, it will restart and then it will come back to normal. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the search and indexing troubleshooter. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon then on the right side make sure to scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. In here click on other troubleshooters and now in here just click on the run button next to search and indexing troubleshooter and wait until it will fix the issues. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line you can also perform an SFC and DISM scan. To do this press the windows button type in cmd, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following commands one by one and press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards restart your computer, then you can check if the problem still persists. Next you can also update windows, press the windows button, click on the settings icon, then click on windows update on the left pane and afterwards click on the blue check for updates button. Windows will now scan for the latest updates and it will prompt you to download and install them. Afterwards you can restart your computer and you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. To do this press the windows button then type in MS config and select system configuration from the search results. Now in here head over to the services tab then tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then click on the disable all button. The last thing you have to do now is go to the startup tab and open task manager. In here disable all the unnecessary apps that you don't use or that start with windows and maybe clog your computer then close this window click on apply and ok to save the changes and then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.